distinguished registers there, respected phenomenon, admired faculties. A very good afternoon to all of you. This is Mohammad Ziaulhaq, Assistant Professor, the Department of English Language and Literature. As the first slide, please. Oh, the title one. Okay. Here it goes. Learning and Sharing, International Conference at East Delta University. I have recently presented a research paper in East Delta University on 2nd October. Next slide, please. This was the very title of the paper, Ophelia in Hamlet, The Society Drives Her Insane and Takes Her Life Away. Next one. This is the introduction. In fact, uh, today I am going to just share whatever I learned, my experiences from that international conference. So in this process, I think I would be able to enlighten at least, I mean, if even a little bit, then I would be grateful. The international conferences open up great opportunities for researchers and scientists, experts, policy makers, stakeholders, and of course, the students. The things I learned by attending the international conference at East Delta University and presenting a paper include, number one, learning, discussion, then goes presentation or presenting my paper, visiting a new place that is the university itself. Number five is networking or socialization. Number six is uh, one of the most important ones, academic reputation. And last but not the least, questioning and answering session and refining my own ideas. Can you please move on? <clears throat> this is the first one, learning. The conference gave me ample opportunity to listen to diverse points of view. Diverse stands for different. And learn new ideas. I learned new ideas from other researchers present day. Moreover, it was also a chance for me to got you know to get acquainted with new techniques innovative ideas of equipment information that is yet to be published and so on the next one is discussion it goes without saying that uh, the conference allowed me to learn new information and strategies from hearing the presentations of others. As I got the chance to hear or listen to others' presentations, so certainly I learned many new things by hearing their discussions. Furthermore, I conversed or talked with other researchers who came from different universities at home and abroad. Uh, these are two of the moments <coughs> from the conference. I mean, uh, as it is right after the, after the discussion part, the person next to me is holding the mic. He is presenting his discussion. And of course, I was listening attentively. So in this process, I learned some fresh or new ideas. The photo to the right, another presenter, that is a lady, she is also presenting her discussion. So we were, I mean three of us were the attentive listeners. So listening attentively is also important, especially listening to the discussions. Please. The third one, 
presentation or presenting my paper. Of course, I did present my paper and I do believe that the paper which I presented in that international conference helped me in many ways. For example, the conference acted as a podium or stage where I presented my work to the literary circles. It also helped me to improve my work by getting comments from the experts and influencers in my field. I mean, there were specialists, literary specialists present there from whom I had the opportunity to learn something new. These are some more moments I thought I should add up. So while presenting my paper, as you can see, the you know banner is there with the greatest playwright William Shakespeare. Okay, please. Visiting a new place, I had the privilege to visit a wonderfully, I mean, aesthetically beautiful campus. You can have some glimpses. Okay, this is the oh, please. Uh, thank you. This is the main campus, and it is like the amphitheater, you know, Greek amphitheater style. This is the library, so it was really amazing. All right, networking, socialization. So of course, I mean the seminars, workshops, and uh, international conferences as such, these provide us with great opportunity to, to socialize. You know, these are kind of hubs for you to grow your network. This is like, you know, they're socializing, talking to, I mean, they're unknown. But now in the, in the international conference, they are known, I mean, they get acquainted, they share their ideas. And this one uh, is a bit exceptional or unique though. I mean, uh, some of the presenters and uh, I'm there of course. And it's unique in the sense that the, all the <laughs> ladies are there and I'm the, <laughs> I'm the only male. <laughs> okay, please, next one. Academic reputation. Of course, attending any conference, be it national or international, it adds up value. It adds up value to your your reputation, your CV. Okay. Uh, the international conference, to a great extent, may be a known phenomenon in the academic circles. In addition. I do believe that it will create an impression in my CV since uh, it justifies the fact that I am an active member of the academic community. Once you present your papers in conferences, that means you are active. You are a learner. You want to learn something new. You have curiosity. Next one, the last one, questioning and answering session and refining my own ideas. The session ended with questioning and answering sessions. I mean, uh, the audience, the audiences were allowed to ask questions based on the particular topics. And I was successfully able to satisfy the spectators by answering logically and intellectually. Next one, please. So this is the one. I mean, I was waiting in the first photo. I was waiting for the uh, for the question. In the next one, I am answering the question. I mean, as you can see, the photos. So to sum up, as faculties, we all should be involved in such conferences as much as possible. Why? Because the greatest benefit I got after attending the international conference 
was the opportunity to build my network and uplift my awareness of new trends that are happening. In other words, it let me learn about all of the new things that are developing at home and abroad while multiplying the existing knowledge within my area of expertise. In a word, it's just sharing and spreading the knowledge. I mean, the international conferences help us to spread new knowledge, to learn something new, and uh, that's it. Thank you so much.